Hello everybody and uh, welcome to a new presentation in English. Uh, uh, my presentation, uh, my list of presentations from uh, uh, every Wednesday. Uh, we are back in 2021 here on uh, ProGuide uh, Association uh, uh, channels. Uh, we are live now on uh, Facebook, uh, on uh, Twitter, uh, YouTube and Travel Massive. Welcome everybody, and uh, uh, I'm uh, Florin Burguay, I'm a uh, qualified tourist guide, member of uh, ProGuide Association, and uh, uh, we are about uh, 300 members in uh, this association. Uh, for you as a tourist, you have to know that uh, when uh, you come in uh, Romania, uh, every guide uh, will be with you in uh, uh, during your uh, your stay here in Romania, uh, should wear such as uh, documents. We have a, a badge and a certificate. Uh, these are uh, mine, uh, and inside uh, we have uh, uh, again the, the picture. Uh, so uh, every uh, tourist guide should uh, have these documents uh, every time when uh, we'll be with you in. Uh, Romania uh, during your uh, your tours. <coughs> uh, today we have uh, a special uh, special uh, museum. Uh, we talk about perfumes uh, because in uh, in Romania we have only one uh, museum of uh, perfumes uh, and it's in Bucharest. Uh, it's a private museum. Uh, is uh, the entrance is free, but it's inside a, a, a shop, a perfume shop. Uh, it's in Bucharest, and uh, I will uh, show you the map of uh, Bucharest. Uh, it's uh, on Cala Dorobanti 172. Uh, there is Mario Plaza there, and uh, it's the boutique. Uh, we have. Uh, nine uh, uh, perfume shops of uh, boutique in Romania, four of them are in Bucharest. And uh, in 2014, in December, uh, the owner of, uh, of these uh, shops decided to uh, show uh, his uh, collection of uh, perfumes, uh, I'm talking about uh, old perfumes, uh, in a small museum. And we have uh, uh, here, uh, this collection is more than 20,000 uh, pieces. Uh, in this uh, museum, you can see around 300. Uh, the oldest uh, button of perfumes is uh, from 19th century, which so, uh, I will show you at the right moment. So this is part of, uh, of the museum. You can see Museul Parfumului. Uh, once again, it's the only one in Romania, it's in Bucharest, and uh, it's uh, free entrance. Uh, you can see not only uh, perfumes here, you can see also uh, uh, how they uh, they made some receipts, some uh, uh, small bottles, they use it. Uh, I'm talking about uh, Cristal, uh, Lalit, uh, Baccarat, uh, porcelain, uh, hand painted. Uh, like one from uh, Lubao, uh, and uh, you can see uh, these uh, this small uh, bottles, they use it for, uh, for perfumes, because it's a big industry and it is for uh, many centuries. Uh, I will describe you a few of uh, exhibits from here, from this, uh, this museum. We, uh, uh, we have uh, one of, uh, of these uh, ancient bottles uh, uh, with perfumes. Uh, this is uh, Astrist uh, from uh, Piver. Uh, it's from 1908. Uh, it's a, Piver is a, a traditional uh, French perfume house uh, that exists since the uh, 18th century, uh, from uh, 1774. And uh, is considered to be uh, one of the first French uh, perfumeries. Uh, the bottle we have uh, here 
uh, once again is from the uh, beginning of 20th century, is uh, Baccarat Crystal, uh, which is uh, plated with a special number, uh, brass mounted uh, uh, mahogany wooden uh, box uh, with uh, velvet uh, inside, and also uh, we have uh, the logo uh, printed on golden paper embossed. Uh, this is one of the uh, pieces of uh, this museum. Uh, not many people uh, know that uh, we have uh, uh, perfumes from uh, Queen Maria I, uh, our second queen, the, the wife of uh, Ferdinand. Uh, we have uh, here in this museum one of the bottles of Queen Maria here in this uh, museum. I'm talking about uh, uh, Aubigan. Uh, and uh, this is uh, uh, and now I will uh, welcome also uh, Alina uh, Hi. Uh, usually you? she helped me uh, for these presentations but uh, today I started uh, without her because uh, uh, she was in late a little bit she had uh, Sorry. something else uh, to do and uh, uh, I, I can uh, started uh, alone but since she's here uh, she will help me uh, with the presentation um, amazing uh, so today we talk about the perfume museum now I'm uh, uh, I'm talking about uh, Queen Maria uh, this uh, uh, this uh, perfume is from uh, Bobby Young uh, is uh, is uh, this perfume house was uh, uh, created perfumes for uh, different brands such as uh, uh, Guy de Maupassant, uh, Le Tolstoy, uh, uh, Napoleon III, uh, and also for his wife uh, Eugenie. Um, and uh, this perfume special was uh, created in 1900, uh, special for uh, 1900 per, uh, Paris exposition. Uh, is a mix of uh, violet and jasmine, uh, and Queen Maria was the first uh, royalty who uh, made a commercial for uh, perfume. Uh, this happened in 1923 and uh, was on the cover of uh, National uh, Geographic uh, uh, magazine. Uh, after uh, Queen Maria died, uh, Obigan uh, decided to stop uh, uh, selling this perfume. And they uh, create a special one, a uh, Cap de Royale, uh, and the uh, original bottles of these two perfumes, Montbudoir uh, and Cap de Fleur Royale, are here in this, uh, this museum. Uh, you can buy also uh, today uh, these perfumes. Uh, in 2019, uh, they remade uh, Montbudoir, uh, and uh, uh, you can uh, buy and also use the perfume. Queen Maria use it. Uh, yes, please. Um, I muted you because the sound is not very great. I would like to ask anyone who is with us, should I just to post on comments whatever perfume they like and prefer, which is your favorite, by the way? What do you use, Florine? Uh, me, I... Uh... I use four perfumes now. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's uh, 212 uh, from uh, uh, Carolina Herrera, I guess. I don't know. All my perfumes are uh, are uh, I uh, I receive it as uh, as gift from. Uh, this uh, yes, uh, I'm, I'm not a, a specialist, uh, uh, but uh, I like this, these perfumes, uh, and uh, uh, I, uh, I use it every time I, uh, I can, uh, I, I have the chance. Okay. We have another question. Wait. This. <laughs> Because I want to show you mine. Perfume, you see? Do you see? 
uh, I can see, but I cannot see uh, the, uh, brand, the brand. The brand. This I like very much, which is a Cheruti. Okay, and the other one, obviously, Chanel. Mademoiselle from Chanel. Okay, so sorry for interrupting you, but you know when we are speaking about perfumes. I cannot. Oh, amazing smell and amazing lady, of course. And here, you know, that's my husband's. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. What is this? Uh, uh, Givenchy, Givenchy gentleman. Gentleman. Yeah. That's a real gentleman, I can assure you. And then it's a no name thing <laughs> I use. You know, like a body mist. Wow. Uh -huh. And this is mine, my favorite. What? Wow. The ID nice. 20 men, uh, Carolina Herrera. Super. So, uh, as you started, you will have to continue with the slides as I cannot interfere with the slides. So well, we'll see us later. I, I have all the power. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> uh, so uh, uh, I talked about uh, Queen Maria. Also, we have um, in this uh, uh, this store uh, for perfumes uh, the one that uh, Napoleon uh, used, the Vanker. Uh, also, uh, Josephine uh, used because uh, Rans uh, made the perfume special for Napoleon and uh, Josephine. Uh, and you, you can uh, buy from here uh, the same uh, perfume uh, Napoleon uh, used. Uh, the family uh, Rans began the activity in the 17th century, uh, in 1686, uh, uh, with uh, leather gloves. Then, uh, end of uh, 18th century, they start with the perfumery laboratory and uh, uh, from their collection, we have uh, uh, Le Vanqueur, uh, special for uh, Katie, special for Napoleon the first, the third, uh, the first, and uh, uh, also uh, uh, from the collection we have uh, the one from uh, Josephine. Uh, different fragrance for uh, for uh, to, uh, these two perfumes. Uh, the one for uh, Josephine is. Uh, Spring uh, floral uh, uh, fragrance uh, combined with uh, exotic fruits and the wood. Uh, and uh, Le Vanqueur uh, is a marine uh, fra uh, fragrance uh, with uh, wood. Uh, I'm talking about musk, uh, uh, sandalwood, uh, amber. Uh, uh, is a tribute uh, to Napoleon and the Corsica Island, they said when they. Uh, uh, they created. Uh, so this one are new perfumes. Uh, now we go back to uh, the museum because we have also uh, another special uh, perfume, uh, Jean Fizz, uh, created by Lubin. Uh, the this this perfume was born in uh, 1955 uh, in honor of uh, American star Grace Kelly won uh, Oscar in that year uh, for the country girl. Uh, and uh, next year she became uh, Princess uh, of Monaco. And uh, uh, this uh, this perfume was pretty special for uh, Grace Kelly. And uh, is inspired by a famous uh, cocktail. Uh, uh, the fragrance is uh, uh, the lemon, uh, uh, Mandarin, uh, jasmine, uh, orange flower. Uh, for perfumes, we talk about three different layers. Uh, uh, specialist uh, can uh, uh, can uh, can uh, uh, guess uh, from uh, from each perfume. We have uh, a base, we have a middle, and also a peak of uh, uh, fragrance. Uh, uh, and uh, for this one, the base is. Uh, for, uh, from lily, uh, middle is uh, orange flower and uh, rose, uh, jasmine, and the pick is uh, for uh, from uh, lemon.
lemon uh, uh, mandarin uh, so uh, different uh, fragrances combine it in one one uh, uh, one perfume uh, was uh, remade in uh, 2009 uh, but by uh, Thomas uh, Fontaine uh, now uh, at the beginning uh, of my presentation I told you about the oldest bottle from uh, from this museum is from middle of the uh, 19th century, exactly from 1852, uh, and uh, uh, is from Le uh, The original we have here the original bottle with the original perfume and also uh, the original uh, box, wooden box. Um, I have to tell you that all these old perfumes uh, cannot be opened because. Uh, uh, they stayed in uh, these bottles uh, uh, for many years. We talk about more than 100 years for this one, uh, and uh, probably will not be the same, uh, the same uh, perfume, the same smell. Uh, so uh, the cap of this uh, this bottle was blocked. So. Uh, from that moment, uh, was used only part of the, this uh, this museum, so of this uh, this perfume. Uh, so uh, it's almost uh, all the uh, quantity inside. Uh, but uh, from uh, that time, nobody opened the, the bottle, uh, and we have the original perfume inside. Uh, now uh, we talk about a little bit uh, about the uh, communism period because we have uh, special uh, cases here in uh, this museum dedicated to communist time uh, when uh, uh, in Romania we had a few uh, factories uh, when uh, we produced uh, in, uh, in Orada um, uh, the, the history of uh, Romanian perfumes began uh, uh, during uh, Ferdinand, uh, uh, King Ferdinand. Uh, I'm talking about the Parfumerile Regale uh, in Oradea. Uh, and then uh, during the communism, usually Elena Ceausescu, after uh, she went to some, uh, some meetings, uh, uh, she asked uh, members of her crew what uh, perfumes used the uh, other uh, first lady, uh, so uh, uh, woman she, uh, she met uh, in different countries, and uh, of course she has to reproduce that perfume. Uh, that's why we have uh, here in Romania, uh, we had at that moment uh, uh, Mirage, Eva Lux, uh, uh, Doina, Diamant, uh, some, uh, some perfume that uh, are similar with uh, Christian Dior, uh, Jean Patou, uh, but with uh, Romanian names made here in Romania. Um, we had uh, in Cluj Napoca uh, factory, Marco Roșu uh, from 1953, uh, then became Mirage and now is Farmet. Cluj Napoca is a uh, Romanian brand now, a successful uh, brand. Uh, we had also in uh, Brasov where we uh, produced Nivea uh, uh, in, in Brasov, but of course nobody uh, paid for copyrights at that moment. Uh, uh, but during communism, we used uh, Nivea for hand cream and uh, uh, powder and so on. But made here in Romania, not the original one. Uh, and also in Bucharest, they had two uh, factories for, uh, for perfumes. Uh, now, uh, in Romania, we don't uh, uh, produce any more perfumes. Uh, uh, I know there is uh, one Romanian guy who produced, but in uh, Paris, not in Romania. In Romania, everything we have, we have uh, uh, from other, other countries, from uh, France, from uh, uh, Italy, from Great Britain, uh, because uh, not, uh, not everybody can come in, uh, in Bucharest to see these perfumes. Um, the owner decided to uh, make some exhibitions in some uh, different places from Romania. One of them was in 2015, 
in very short castle uh, 29 showcases with uh, different perfumes from uh, this uh, big collection uh, people uh, can admire in uh, very short in 2015 uh, this was in a few words uh, the history and some uh, uh, explanations about the uh, information about uh, some uh, some perfumes from here from uh, this museum once again it's the only perfume museum from Romania uh, it's in Bucharest uh, it's open daily from uh, 10 in the morning to 9 p.m. Uh, except on Sunday when uh, they close at uh, 3 p.m. Uh, Botic is the uh, supplier of uh, Royal uh, Romanian Royal Family. Uh, this is an uh, important fact. Uh, and uh, I have to tell you that uh, uh, they cannot uh, tell us uh, uh, what perfumes they use uh, members of uh, Royal Family today. Uh, but uh, I asked them, uh, they, uh, they told me what perfumes used uh, King Michael and Queen Anne, our last uh, king and last queen. Uh, if we talk about uh, the king, King Michael, uh, he loved uh, Scandal uh, from uh, Floris London, and uh, Queen Anne, uh, Joy from uh, Jean Patou, uh, and uh, Fleur de Rocaille, uh, Caro. Uh, these are uh, informations from uh, from uh, the manager manager of uh, uh, of the museum, and uh, uh, I invite you to come here in uh, in Bucharest because we have uh, many uh, different uh, different museums. Um, during uh, last year, uh, I showed you some. Uh, uh, some museums and uh, we started this year with uh, new presentations uh, and uh, the first I choose is the uh, perfume museum from Bucharest. Uh, Alina, can you... Uh... Super, 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 yes, we have some comments. Yes, let's see some comments. Uh, the, our friend Adrian Georgica, which is from our YouTube channel. Good evening. Thank you very much for being with us. And of course, he shared with us his uh, favorite perfume, uh, Versace Blue Jeans. And unfortunately, uh, it's over. Well, I'm sure that uh, he's going to refill, let's say. Of course, we have our friends, uh, Vadim and Camelia. Uh, aha, exactly, <laughs> exactly, with a very nice touch of a lady, you know, always a lady, <laughs> especially the Coco Chanel uh, Mademoiselle, it's the best. Thank you very much, Vadim and Camelia, uh, for being uh, today with us. And dear friends, thank you very much for uh, showing today. We are the professional association of tourist guides. Here you have our uh, PayPal account. So if you'd like to support our activity, please, please do so. Also, here you have our uh, IBAN account. So if you feel comfortable using the IBAN account, uh, please do so. We have a new year. We have uh, new hopes. And I'm sure that for all of us, it will be an amazing year. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter and LinkedIn. We are very, and you can find us also in um, Instagram and uh, of course in Travel Massive. So these are the channels you can find us. Uh, thank you very much, Florine, for being today with us. Here down are our details. So if you need a guide, do not hesitate to search Romanian tourist guides. You see there the hashtag and you just uh, ask and you will receive. You shall receive, no? <laughs> we have some comments again. Let us see Your the comments. comments. 
Alina, do you also use Mr. David perfume? Well, I'm not. I'm just showing it to you. I'm just showing it to you that he is a gentleman. Givenchy. Mm. I don't know if you like the fragrance, but it's uh, very <laughs> powerful. <laughs> Well, I I, I, I um, hope you don't mean that I'm that masculine, do you? Hope not. <laughs> no, I'm sure he he, he wanted to make a joke. Uh, of course. We, uh, we showed uh, to you some uh, some perfumes we have, uh, but most important is that we have a, a museum of perfumes. Exactly, and, uh, see, this is amazing. Uh, Romania. I, I show you and I present you only uh, some of uh, these uh, these perfumes that are in uh, in this museum. It's also important for Romanians to uh, to go there to to see and to remember, uh, especially uh, ladies, to uh, to see once again what kind of uh, perfumes they have uh, 40, uh, 50 years ago in uh, uh, from uh, from Romania because. Uh, during communism, uh, uh, was uh, almost impossible to buy uh, some uh, some perfume, perfumes from uh, abroad. So we have to use what we have here in Romania, what we produce here in Romania. And I ask applause for our participation. So once again, thank you very much, Florin, and see You're you. Welcome. See next. you next Wednesday with a new subject. Uh, another presentation in English. Hope this year to have uh, uh, Real in Romania. Uh, we are waiting for you in Romania. Bye. Bye.